Hi there, back again. Yep, got to keep on moving on this trailer, got to get it done. Anyways, today I'm going to work on this. Uh, well, it's a J rail, but it's not necessarily a J rail because it also has the, uh, the railing to hold the awning, but it goes on the very top. So you can see it right here, and I'll get a better, closer look at it right in there. You can see the opening down in there slides in but you can see it's pretty dingy and uh, doesn't shine I'm gonna polish it up a little bit and I'll show you where it belongs okay that railing goes right on top here and it's 12 foot long the top here is 14 feet so I'm gonna center it and so that I will have a, a 12 foot or excuse me 12 inch piece uh, running off the end here and then I'll run down and I'll finish it up and the same thing with over there on the other side of a 12 inch piece run to the corner and then curve it down and come down the edge there and that's how it works and the other side doesn't have it because it doesn't have an awning but this side's gonna have an awning I'm already looking at uh, what I'm gonna order for it so uh, just want to let you guys know all right, I'll show you guys uh, the end product of my polishing in a little bit. Okay, I decided to show you guys how I'm going to polish this. So I am going to uh, get my tool out, put it on, and, uh, and uh, show you how I do it. And uh, I'm not going to give it a super high polish because I would have to do that with all the J-Rails. J-Rails are brand new, so they just have a real nice shine to them. But they also have a brush look to them, and I'm going to establish that and I'll show you how I do that on this older piece here that I'm going to be reusing. All right, so you saw exactly what I was doing. I'll give you an up-close look on how it leaves the, uh, the metal. So you can see there, this is old and dirty, and this is nice and shiny and clean. And see how it cleans out the holes? Now there's a little bit of this gunk here, and that is just butyl tape. So I'm gonna be able to scrape that off with my nail and then just move on but you can see how it gives it that finished brush look and see again here it's dirty I haven't done, gone over it yet and you can see the difference now this is the product that I'm using I picked it up at uh, where at Ace Hardware and I'm sure you can find it at Home Depot or any of the other places in fact I've uh, I got the idea from somebody that purchased it at uh, oh, Amazon that's it Amazon anyway so it comes in a wheel as well what I'm using here is more like a brush okay and then they also have three grit settings they have a gray which is they say it's an 80 grit I'm using the orange which is a 120 and then they have a blue and that's a 240 so again uh, that's it you know the wheel costs almost 10 bucks uh, but you know it lasts it lasts a while so it's this I've had it now for a while I've used it on some of the windows I've used it as some other aluminum pieces and it just works and it works well so anyway I just wanted to show you and that's what I'm gonna do uh, the next time you see me I'll be uh, putting this up on the uh, trailer
All right, so as you can see, this is all cleaned off. And then I just finished cleaning the underside. The back side doesn't need to be cleaned because this is gonna get a new, well, it does, I take off the old butyl tape, but it doesn't need to be polished up. Just make sure you get all the old stuff off. You gotta put the new stuff on top of here and then this is gonna be screwed on so that the butyl tape sticks to the uh, trailer. And you're gonna see me do that here in just a little bit. All right, I'm ready to get on up there and put that rail up, the awning rail. But it also acts as a little gutter, like a J-rail as well, but it's just to hold the awning as well. So I'm getting ready to put that up. So what I've done is uh, cleaned it up, and I showed you that earlier. I put the butyl tape on the back side, so it's ready to go. I flattened out the seam as much as possible, pushed in all the staples as much as possible so there's no interfering, and the butyl tape can uh, cover up any any little holes that uh, may be there and so that's the whole idea is to seal the seam so no water gets in uh, you guys know that these uh, little trailers these old vintage trailers the water is probably the biggest enemy it has uh, and moisture gets in sets up in the wood rot starts to happen and that's when we start getting Loose this, loose that, screws backing out, nails backing out, staples backing out, things falling off. So you have to take care of it, you have to seal it up. So you're gonna see me uh, hang this up on my own. And what I've done is I've marked up there, and you can't see it, but I took a measurement and then I put a little mark up there with a black marker. Uh, it'll be covered up, uh, so it won't be seen after the fact uh, in the middle. And I did the same thing for the rail. The rail is exactly 12 feet long, so I put a mark at six feet. It's right in the middle. And so what I'm gonna do is line it up. Put that middle of the, the rail up at the middle of the trailer. So what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have a little bit of J-rail uh, at the end and at the front. And then from there, it'll curve and, and come down the sides. So you'll see, but uh, watch, and this is how I do it. Whether it's the right way or not, I don't know. That's how I do it. Put a couple screws, bend it if I need to bend it, and I keep it about a quarter of an inch, maybe more, maybe less, depending on the curvature of the roof, uh, just below that curvature. 
Well, it's down on the side, but remember, you have to cover that seam. So that's all important, all right? So I'm gonna turn it off now, and I'll show it to you when I'm all done. Okay, so as you can see, I got that rail, and actually it looks, see, that's what makes the finish. The trailer look finished, I should say. The trailer looks finished with that rail up there. See, and if you look over there where the seam is bare, it looks unfinished, definitely unfinished. So, yeah, that rail, and it goes up and down, and so what you didn't see, and maybe you caught a little bit, because I did have to do a little bit, and that is the bending. You have to bend it, screw it in, bend it, screw it in, and, and you don't bend every time you screw it in, it's just you, you bend it where you need to bend it, and you want to keep uh, that space up on top, above that rail, consistent. Uh, you can see it, and maybe I have more than a quarter of an inch. I don't think I have more than a half inch anywhere. I made sure of that, but that that's what makes it look finished. So it looks really nice. You see the uh, screws, and I'll zoom in on it right there. Looks nice. You can see the screws and they shine and so does the rail. The rail has a nice new look to it. Oops. There, I lost it there. There it is. A nice new look to it. So, so tomorrow I'll uh, finish that up. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.